Yes, hi guys. Welcome back to Mighty Profits Online. Uh, I know in my last video I've uh, touched base on one one of the tips, uh, which is uh, using the uh, vacuum, the vacuum that comes with the 2019 Honda Odyssey and uh, and uh, and above newer models. So I know I, I received an email from one of the uh, one of the guys watching the video, and they uh, they wanted to know more of how to do it more thoroughly because a lot of, not a lot of people they they're uh, very technical and they're re really good at cars and t and technology. So I want to spend this video and try to do my best to help this gentleman out and also you guys out whoever needs help uh, who wants to know how to use this vac system it's uh, very straightforward okay so what you're gonna do is to use the vac system the first thing you're gonna do is turn on your vehicle okay so let's do that so I'm gonna go over here hold down the brake and hit the uh, start button okay once it starts release it and release the brakes and make sure that it's on park okay this one won't let you shift gears Okay, it doesn't have the shifting anymore. They they convert the shifting into the automatic, uh, you, but you have to hold down the brake to shift gears, okay? So that's their uh, safety feature. Same goes with any other car. Usually there's a knob and you can go up and down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, now that the car is turned on, okay, you can see right here, it's turned on. I'm gonna actually go to the back and show you guys how to hook it up and uh, just leave it on running, okay? So that you can use your back system. So as you can see, it, it, the car sensors my uh, my remote uh, in my pocket for the key fob, so it automatically signals for me right away. So what do you want to do? So to vacuum, okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up this little latch latch right here. As you guys can see, it's right over here. Open it up. Take out this little knob right here from the side. Put, place it aside. Take off this knob at the bottom and then set it aside as well, okay? At the bottom here. Your trunk is really big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, pull it out. I'm doing it with one hand, so bear with me guys. Okay, so once you have, you pull it all out, this, this hold is actually flexible. So don't worry, it's actually very flexible. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here so you guys can see. So that way I don't have to keep holding it. Okay, yep. sorry guys, didn't work. I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's hope that this is gonna hold so that I can film for you guys here. Okay, so that's there, right? So what I do, once you pull it out, it's very flexible and you can extend it too, do you see that? And then, the long one, the long one, once you turn it on, push that little button right over there. If you guys can see it, there's a little button with that little circle, it's like a computer button. There you go, you hear that noise? Now, it's a little shiny button. A little button right now, it turns on. I've attached my little hook, and what I can do is I can just it. Pretty cool. So, I can do everything. That's my vehicle. It's very smooth. So, that's the vacuum, everything that you need to vacuum. All the dirt out, and very nice. So, that's pretty cool. Take on all the dirt. And then, once you're done, you can take this off. And uh, I'm gonna turn it off. Push the power button. Turn it off. And I'm gonna attach this guy right here. So the smaller ones for carpets and that, that's for doing the corners and doing the corners and everything. Here you wanna do carpets. So if you guys have pets and stuff, you use this guy right here. So again, I'm gonna turn this one on again. And you can hear the noise. And it does the job, guys. You know, it does the job. It takes off everything. So, not a rocket science. Now I'm gonna turn it off. There you go. Nice and easy. So I'm gonna set this aside again. Sorry guys. Hopefully, there you go. So now that I take off the extension, I'm gonna put it back in. See, it clicks back in. Make sure it clicks, okay? You gotta hear that click. Then you remove this guy right here, and then you click it back in for, for next use. And then this guy, you can just extend it right there. And then you can de find its way slowly and then tuck it back into its corner. Okay. And 
then once it's tucked away you know take your time it's gonna go in there eventually because it was built like that and then you just close that in up like that to to for the other one to empty it just push this one down it comes right off put it inside this guy right here you just push to release it comes back down so i'm gonna do it one more time like that you push and then you can release so it looks just like that okay and uh with that said you can there's a little hook here here and here so once you open up these hooks you unlock it and what you're gonna do is sometimes it gets dirty so take your time open it and release this front okay and then all the dust and everything you can empty it out that way okay guys mines i clean out frequently so it's very clean and the car is still brand new so there there won't be much much going on yet so maybe later on but not right now <laughs> but, okay so once you do you slide it the same way with the shop back in the front push it back in and then once it locks into place handy dandy and it's There you go. Make sure that it's locked in and you gotta hook it right off to the orange. It can't be going loosely. Okay, and then once that's in, you take back the uh, the shield and then pop the shield. Uh, so the two arrows there, as you guys can see, goes back up and then you can lock it up. Or you can do it the other way around. There you go. And then it comes off. Make sure it snaps into place and you're good to go. The one beside, I don't know what that is. I never touched that. And uh, so hopefully there's a simple way of doing it. So once you've done that, make sure you go back. Close, close the, the hood. Okay, once you close that, you go over here. Open up the thing. Passenger door side. You press the lock button. And then what the last thing you want to do is just hit the engine start and stop. Now that you're done, you don't want to drain uh, any more gas or anything, electricity or battery through your car, turn it off and you're good to go. So it's very simple. So usually about this car, I, I take usually a good, I say 40, 40 minutes to do from front to back. But what I do is I lower all the back seats first uh, before I do it, so it's, it makes it quicker. So start from the back, work up to the, the middle row seats and then to the front seats okay and then also the front the front i usually just wipe it because the car is still brand new so it, it doesn't need too much of a, a touch up but other than that yeah i use I, I wipe things down with a cloth okay you remember you can get it from amazon very nice price and get windex and your mirrors are gonna be shiny okay guys can't stress it windex baby it's the best okay for mirrors so hopefully this answers uh the uh, question in in the email from one of the audience one of the viewers and it's going to help you out and uh, make your life a little bit more easier and uh last tip don't forget the uh if you have a little sunroof make sure you wipe the inside of that as well <laughs> because sometimes you know a lot of times i forget as well okay so just wipe that keep it hygienic keep it clean for your customers keep that five star rating and uh and and make that make that money coming in and but uh enjoy your ride make it comfortable for you and your customers that's really important and we'll see you on the next video guys thank you